project for you that has multi-purpose, more than one purpose for the same project. This one is using salt dough. So you can do two things with salt dough, which is one, you can make cute little um, necklace charms, or two, you can also use them as gift tags. So today I'm going to show you how to do both of those. First thing you're going to need to do is have some tiny little cookie cutters. I chose this week um, to show you how to do um, some for Christmas, maybe. I have, oh no, I don't want that one. I went to the um, cookie cutter aisle at Michael's and I found these little mini cookie cutters. Um, those are for more general purpose but could be used uh, any time of the year. But I found this Christmas pack that had trees and you know, all of your basic Christmas items. I also have, this is my daughter's um, sandwich cutter and it, it has three mustache shapes and you guys know she's obsessed with mustaches. Maybe you don't know that. Anyway, so um, I cut a few out of these as well and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those. So anyway, the next thing, um, you need just a few cookie cutters. Um, you need flour, salt, and water. And the recipe I will put on the blog. And then um, you're gonna need a rolling pin. And you don't wanna roll it out too thin. I started out too thin and then when I was poking my holes in it, realized, oh hey, that's not gonna work. Okay, so for thickness, you want to get it to where it's about a quarter of an inch thick. And so then you just take your cookie cutters and you punch them out like so. And this, uh, this amount of dough right here was not even half of how much it made. So you can get quite a few um, things out of one batch of dough. And you think about how much a cup of flour, a half a cup of salt, and a half a cup of water. This is a really good, inexpensive gift idea. Or something that makes your gift chamois. Hello. Okay, next thing you need is uh, something to poke a hole into your either jewelry piece or gift tag. And so I have these wooden skewers and you're just gonna take it and poke a hole and you want to make sure that, see what that did on the back side? You wanna make sure that it's nice and out of the way. So make your hole nice and generous. And that is where your thickness comes into play as well. If it's too thin, it's gonna wreck your image a little bit. Um, okay, so after you have poked holes in all of your many cute tags, you're gonna take a cookie sheet and put them on a cookie sheet. These I already did earlier today and um, baked them at 250 degrees for two hours. And then they come out nice and hard like this. Salty. That's, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next portion is going to be the decorating process. Um, so if you're going to do um, like a necklace or something like that um, with your charm, then you want to get a piece of sandpaper. And I got just a little piece of sandpaper and you want to sand it and get it all nice and smooth. Um, really easy and you can really tell the difference between the ones that are sanded and not. So. Um, if you're just doing it for gift tags, not really necessary. So you can see I have a couple that I have right here. This one I uh, did a little antiquing finish to that I wanted for my necklace. This one I'm going to use as a gift tag 
and it's still drying a little bit. And then this is for baby girl. Thought I'd make her a cute little necklace. She can say, well, hello there. Okay, so this is my little charm. And I went to my craft store and I found, um, Martha Stewart has a brand of craft paints. And I normally don't buy hers because it's a little bit more expensive, but for this I wanted to because she has a sterling silver color that I wanted for my jewelry. So if you're just doing gift tags or, or something else, it doesn't really matter what you use. You can use spray paint, you can use um, craft paint, um, your choice. And so for this, I wanted to antique up or make my little charm look a little bit more worn. So I'm gonna take this and you're gonna get just a little bit messy, I think. Well, maybe not if I set it down here. And you're just gonna take black and cover the whole charm after you have painted your base coat. Get in there. Okay, then you can wipe it off. This is a age old antiquing process. Put it on, wipe it off. Wax on, wax off. Just kidding. Okay, and that is how we look, and how cute is that? I'm so excited! Okay, so for a necklace, oh, actually no, that's not our last painting thing. I wanted to add a little bit of ShamWow glitter to this gift tag and go with um, some glitter paint. And so I put a base coat on it and now I'm just gonna put the glitter coat on it. You probably won't be able to tell that huge of a difference until after it's dry but it'll look really cute on a package. And I need my little poker to get back through my hole there. Okay, we'll let that dry and we'll put that on a package in a minute. So now we're going to go to what you can do with your tag. I wrapped up that box and I took a little star and I used that on a piece of um, ribbon and just put that on the box and you can see how much cuter that is um, just with that little piece. I got this um, cording just in the jewelry section at a craft store and I wanted to make a necklace and I bought this package because it came with several different colors and I didn't know um, what color I wanted, but you can use just about any any small, you can use a little tiny piece of ribbon, you can use um, whatever you want. And I wanted to hang this one, let's see, so you're going to fold your piece in half until you get that little loop just like that. And this is why I had to have a skinny little piece of string. And then, and this is actually what I did with the gift tag as well, to put that on the gift tag. And then you just loop that through just like so. Slide that on and it has that look to it. And so then I'm just going to tie a knot at the top as well. I'm going to take both and I'm just sliding it through, tying a knot, take out the scarf. And decide how long you want it, which I'm not really sure at this point. But we do have a front and a back. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> As you get to know me, you will figure out I'm a woman of many 
awkward sounds when I'm um, backing up backwards. I have to get it right so you can see. Okay, so <laughs> it's still backwards, but I'll figure that out. I'm a dork. Okay, so that's how cute that looks, and I would layer it with a couple of different things. You could use it as a bracelet, um, however you wish. But uh, I think it would be really cute glitterized. I think it would be really cute gold. You could do any number of shapes. It'd be super cute for Valentine's coming up. Maybe I'll have to show a special Valentine edition of this because um, I have some ideas brewing for that. But anyway, I'm gonna do something similar with Senior Mustache as well. And so to see all of my um, finished pictures with uh, tags and jewelry, go to showmecute.com. I'll have a list of all the supplies that you need as well as the stores that I shopped for my supplies. So it'll help you. Um, this week, we want to start a new segment with um, a midweek short interview with the family. So if you have a question or something that you would like to know from me, whether it be a question about my family, a question about um, a project, anything like that, um, or for a member of the family that you would like to hear from, leave a question in the comments below as well as your request and we'll be picking one each week um, in the middle of the week to give a very short um, interview or uh, answer process in the middle of the week. Just um, we'll see how that goes for a little while and see if, if you guys like that, see if that helps. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check back later for another super cute idea.